All right, guys, we actually, we just won a storage unit um, at auction, uh, $60 plus fees. So let's uh, see what's in it. Okay, whew, there's dust flying down. Give you a quick pan around, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna load this up into our truck, and um, right after we do that, we'll come back to you and we'll go through all this stuff um, in our storage unit. Uh, we're not going to get through it here. We're just going to load it up today. Uh, we're in a time constraint. So we'll just do a pan around, show you what we got. So one of the reasons why I bid on this was um, right here. Those, I'm thinking, probably are going to pay for the unit itself right there. And then the rest of it was a little bit of gamble, but there was actually uh, one more item in here that I knew what it was, and I was going to buy the unit for those two items. So the canning jars, and the other item is right here. And those are two swords, samurai swords by the looks of it. So I'm not sure if they have any, what type they are, or if they have any value, but we will empty all this stuff into the truck and give you a closer look at it a little bit later. All right, man, it is, what time is it? It is about 9.30 p.m. And I have our storage unit unloaded in my garage and I took most of the large items out of my garage and put into my storage unit so I am out of breath because this was a lot of haul and I made a couple trips in my truck got all this stuff in here most of this stuff is listed I'm gonna come back on Saturday and touch up anything that's not listed I got a couple beds over here that I need to put together and take pictures of and other than that most of this stuff is listed or at least I have pictures of it and I will be listing it so yeah so uh, we got we got it stacked up in there we have a little walkway here to get back uh, we can pretty much get to anything with a little bit of work so when it sells we'll come and we'll get it take it to our meeting location this is all Facebook marketplace items so this is what's in this storage unit is all Facebook marketplace items that were uh, selling locally and meeting people. The eBay items and Macari items are going to be out of my garage, starting to get things under control a little bit. And we are going to go back to the garage right now and start going through some of the stuff that we got in the storage unit auction today. We showed you that picture earlier. Let's go back and let's dig into it. Let's see what we got. See you in a few. Okay, we are back in the garage and we're getting ready to go through the storage unit that we uh, found today, that we won today at auction. The Today's been pretty hectic. We loaded up that unit showed you that earlier when we got there and we loaded it up and then we uh we had some uh after i got off of work i did that on my lunch break after work i had to uh, take my daughter to soccer practice so i left everything in the truck and then i had to unload that in my garage but my garage is filled so then i had to like run all the stuff over to the storage unit the large things to make room so long story short we made some room we're finally back here. We're going to go through some of this stuff. I'll show you basically what we got here. Uh, we did get the um, samurai swords uh, right there. And I made a little makeshift table here out of uh, just a piece of wood and uh, some sawhorses so that we can uh, use that to work on. Because uh, the, the folding table that I use sometimes is a little bit too big right now. We're still a little cramped in here. I don't have everything into the storage unit yet. 
So what, what we what, this is everything that you see on the floor right here is from the storage unit. Uh, we have the couple a toad in a bag, a cooler. Uh, we have these mason jars. We have all these bags. Another a box down below. A bunch more uh, bags, and then we have a tote down below there, and then one big bag over there. That that tote that's a little bit down farther, that one with the glasses, that's uh, something separate. So it's basically just what you see right in this area. So let's talk about the swords. Uh, these these look pretty nice. Let me see if I can open them up for you guys. So they look like pretty nice. I'm not I don't think they're anything super super fancy, but I don't see any I'll have to look at them and see if I can find any type of name or anything on them. But definitely pretty neat. Uh so we'll do some research on those at some point and uh see what the value is on those. My first guess just from doing some research on uh on eBay earlier today was maybe like forty to eighty dollars in that range on eBay uh, a lot of them we see here on eBay I saw were like sets of three uh, so well um, these are two right now I thought maybe when I was loading I thought maybe I saw another one so we're gonna have to look through this stuff and make sure maybe there is a third one so that's a possibility because I did see some other uh, some other knives and stuff actually this one was sticking out of a bag out of the box. This was in one of them. Let's see if I can get this on the camera. This is pretty heavy. This is almost actually this is this is heavier than the uh, sword. So this is pretty cool. I'm gonna do some research on this as well. Definitely really neat so there's some, definitely some weapons and there's more I, when I was loading I saw more than just just these there's there's more in one of the boxes so when we get to, to get to that we'll go through all that but let's talk about the mason jars because I thought that the mason jars were gonna be like seventy to a hundred dollars in resale because you know mason jars uh, a bunch of cases of empty mason jars pretty cool right turns out they're not empty so I I was very surprised to find out that these all have stuff in there is a hundred and forty large mason jars probably a hundred and forty four hundred and forty to hundred forty four large ones and then uh, there's some smaller ones, these little smaller ones, 24 of those. So there is a lot of stuff here. So like if you look at this, it's uh, hibiscus, mugwort, horny, horny goat weed, slippery elm, skull cap. So these are all different types and as I go down through I mean there is like there's like spices that you would eat there's herbs there's just I don't even know at first what what this is what's going on here so I, I'm gonna have to definitely do some research on those but we have a lot of those with a lot of different things in so I'm hopefully I'm hoping that once we start going through some more of this stuff, we we will find out what uh, what all this stuff is used for because there's definitely more stuff in here that might that might clue us into what it's used for. So let's start going through some of this stuff. I'm gonna grab the uh, tote here or the igloo. Uh, we'll get it set up and we'll start going through them. Okay, so we have this igloo cooler here. And it opens on the side, and I started started pulling some stuff out of it. And there's some beads. Actually, that's his bones. Uh, so bones. And 
So this one's got a label on it. This one says Violet Leaves Blue. And it says that it's a wellness herb. And it's got a website on it, which I'm not going to show because I don't want to uh, tie anything back to the original owners in any way. But it's basically, I think, what this person was doing was they were using all these uh, spices and herbs uh, and uh, for wellness, I think, is what they were doing. And they must have had a, a store or uh, a website or maybe they went to craft shows or something like that and uh, would set this stuff up. So I'm not going to go through all these, but uh, red roses, elderberries lavender flowers there's just other there's a lot of stuff in here golden seal root so yeah so there is a lot of that's all that's in there on the top let's take a look at the bottom okay so we have a Mainstays fresh cotton candle. Looks like it's been used. And then we have more of these little bags. That's basically uh, what is in here. A pencil. Yeah, so a bunch of these little bags and they're all different stuff. This one's cloud mist, milk thistle. So, definitely dragon's blood. Huh. An ancient and revered resin for protein, love, vanishing, and sexuality. Very interesting. <laughs> Hibiscus flowers. So, yeah. So, definitely some interesting stuff there. I'm not into that type of thing, but we will definitely research that and see if there's anything I'm, I'm wondering if somebody that's into this type of stuff would be interested in the whole lot of all these mason jars filled with stuff so that's probably what we're going to hope for that we can do that alright let's pull up a tote alright let's see if uh, what we got here okay. so I'm going to bring this up a little bit this tote looks like Mostly kids' clothes and a few toys. So it doesn't look like this is going to be very interesting here. Little princess on board. So what I'm going to do with this stuff is just kind of go through. Like here's a uh, mini Mouse doll. Looks in pretty good shape. We could probably resell that so what I normally do is I'll go through all this stuff and I'll basically uh, do a trash pile or a donate pile on eBay slash Macari pile and if there's anything big uh, you know we'll do a Facebook marketplace pile so that's kind of what I do is kind of separate it uh, so like clothes like for example this looks like some sort of pajamas Lots of times, if it's nothing major, it just goes into a bag and we donate it. Um, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on clothing. Um, I'll probably do, uh, if there would be adult clothing, t-shirts, things like that, I might relist and sell uh, on Macari or eBay. But most likely, a lot of this stuff is going to get, gonna get uh, donated. So we'll donate uh, a, lot of, a lot of clothing. All right, so let me let me just pause this, and what I'll do is I'll just empty this out, and we'll kind of go over it and separate it into piles, and I'll let you know what we did with this. Okay, so out of that tub, uh, it is now empty. Uh, this is what I decided to keep on the table here. So I kept the Minnie Mouse. We got a pair of Mickey Mouse pants, pajama pants, uh, Minnie Mouse pajama pants, and then we got these leopard print pants and then a pair of like jeans so I kept those I have this uh, unicorn and then uh, Hotel Transylvania two shirts and then a Halloween type of shirt 
And then we got a cat shirt, uh, Halloween Mickey, some bat pants. Uh, we have an Old Navy sweatshirt. Uh, this is a Cat and Jack sweatshirt. Uh, Penn State fan shirt. Little person, big fan. Meow. Uh, Halloween Mickey, I guess. Minnie or Mickey, one of the two. There's Minnie and Mickey in that one. And then we have this really nice uh, coat. Also, Cat and Jack. So, that's what I kept. I'm going to put that stuff probably on Macari. Probably to start, see how it does. Might start trying some clothing on eBay too. So the rest of the stuff uh, went into this bag to be donated. So we'll drop that off in a donation box. Uh, let's keep going, see what else we can find. Okay, so we'll start right here. We have a hundred colored pencils. And they look like they are mostly all in there. So those may be offered to my kids and if they do not want them if we have enough then then they might get resold somewhere maybe at a flea market or something uh, let's see what we got here we have a bear and do we have any type of yeah okay it's build a bear so build a bear workshop okay All right, let's pull some of these bags up here. I have no idea what's in these bags. They were on top of, most of these were on top of the canning stuff. So let's pull these up here. And let's just see if we can go open some of them up. Let's see what is in these. All right. this one okay it is felt of some sort probably for crafting or whatever they were doing all different colors felt so see that on there that'll probably go listed probably I don't know Facebook Marketplace, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this... I, I'm not entirely sure what this is. It's different color fluff, I guess. Does it say roving? I'm, I'm not a crafting person, so it's $20 worth of roving. Two ounce, two ounce, two ounce. Three different colors. $20 is what was paid on 2016. Okay. So definitely had a person here that was into some sort of crafting. And this looks like the same type of stuff. All different colors. Yep. So, make sure that you're seeing that, yep. Okay, same thing. This is 80 yards, $15. So, if I paid $15 for that and it's all there, which it's wrapped up, you know, maybe it's worth five, ten bucks. I don't know. These are cats. This person obviously liked cats. Um, one of the things I saw was resolve for urine, so apparently their cats like to pee on things. Okay, ten dollars for this. Mer merino, merino, to silk, something silk. Yep. Uh, what do we have here? We have a pair of pants. Disney Junior, Disney Junior Mini, size four. These look brand new. And I'm going to assume. Oh, you know what? All this stuff has tags on it. Let's take a look. Okay. This is Mini with. Unicorn, 
that tag is missing. And this is Unicorn Friends. And that's mini. Make sure I get that in there. There we go. Got the, I'm still, I have never done this with a camera, so I am working through the best way to do this. So that's $10. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And what is this one? This one's, this one's nice and yellow. Mini. And ten dollars. So pretty cool. I like things with tags on. That will go in with the clothing that we're gonna keep. Alright, this looks like more of the same type of stuff. I don't know what you'd call it, but that material of some sort. Or somebody will want that stuff, but I don't know who. All right, I'm going to keep pulling things up here. Uh, Pampers. I'm not sure what size these are. Somewhere it probably would tell me. There's a number here, but I can't read that. So maybe somebody wants these if I can figure out what size they are. They're sealed still. So, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but this unit cost us $60 plus fees. So, those fees would, were, um, the auction the website was 10% or $10, whichever was less, whatever was more. more. So, uh, in this case, since it was 60, 10% is only $6, so they rounded up to 10. So, $60 plus $10 fees, 70 in tax was uh, $73.60. So, we have $73.60 into this uh, storage unit. These are uh, hair locks. Yeah, looks like hair locks. So there's different different color hair locks, blue. So this bag is filled with uh, hair locks. There's actually a receipt in there too. Yep, all hair locks. So let's see what this receipt says. Uh, two hair locks, $12. Uh, 2016, September 2016. Okay, so we got hair locks. Great. <laughs> Just what I needed. Okay, and here we've got This was coming from a farm. Wool and wool and yarns. So it's actually coming from a farm. So more, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna tear all this out. It's just more and more and more crafting type materials, hair, yarn, wool, that type of stuff. So we will just leave it at that. We're gonna have to get a tub together with that stuff. All right, let's go with another bag. This bag we have a 46 piece Disney Junior mini floor puzzle that has never been opened. So that's kind of kind of cool. We can definitely sell that on eBay. This is a mini and I think that's Daisy Duck. And uh, that is a water bottle. And then we have another water bottle, another mini one, and also Daisy. And these have, these came from Family Dollar. The floor puzzle was $6. And the cups were $4 and $2.50. And some of the legging sets were $10. They must have been in the other bag. So this is all new stuff. I don't think that's ever been used, any of that stuff. So that's good stuff to sell. Okay, next bag. We've got some paperwork, which we are going to get out of view. 
All right, we have buckthorn bark. So that's actually going to go in with the other ones. I think that there was a few that were missing. We've got bear, Pepto Bismol, Jet Alert, regular strength caffeine. <laughs> Stay awake. That looks brand new. I don't know. Sometimes stuff like that at the flea market does okay. We got Cutter, Backwoods, Insect Repellent. Let's see what this is. This is a rental, uh, rental book for rental property. All right, we've got Aloe. We've got some pills here. Looks like maybe Pepto Bismol. Itch Relief. Right about now, I'm thinking I should put some gloves on. Icy Hot and Jet Alert. And Febreze. And more Febreze. And then inside here, there's the, the lock that was cut from the storage unit. And some more paperwork, which we're just gonna not show any of the paperwork. So let's put all the paperwork in there. I'll take a glance at that later. And this is trash. And I think we had an empty bag down here somewhere. No, I guess not. I guess we used it. All right, well, we will make a bag for this stuff later. All right, let's keep going. All right, so we've got some uh, woman's underwear. Yippee. I, this is open, I'm just gonna throw this out. I don't even wanna mess with them. All right, I tied this stuff shut when I was uh, on, putting it in my truck. So this is what I saw, the urine destroyer resolve. That's pretty much full. That's probably for the cats. Make sure I got that in view. And this stuff, keep calm and squeeze. And another stress baseball. And all this stuff over here is paperwork, which we do not want to really show. We'll add that down there. All right, let's see what else we got. This bag says, a R A M I S. Got a washcloth. Another washcloth. This looks like a travel bag. It's got a, a brand new toothbrush, some uh, lips, lip balm or something, and this is all personal hygiene and stuff. 30 SPF sunscreen. So yeah, we're all personal hygiene. Okay, we got a Christmas box. And inside, let's get rid of this stuff. This is Christmas. Little, little notes and so. Okay, and inside here is a jewelry box. And there is no jewelry in it. Okay. And that's all that's in that box. We actually have... I got a bigger box I'm pulling out of, and we actually have another jewelry box with some stuff in it. Doesn't look like this is a journal, but I don't think it's been written in. Nope, not written in. All right, 
let's just make sure that this is in focus. And bring it down like that, maybe. All right, and what do we have? We have Claire's owls, earrings. So this all looks kind of like just nothing fancy. I don't really see anything that's jumping out at me that's going to be silver or gold penguin. But we um, normally what I do with this stuff is I will save it and uh, make a trip to somebody, have it somebody look at it at some point just to make sure. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here that's really looking of any value to me. So I'll give you a zoom in on that. Okay, let me set Alright, we got a bag here with some, what looks like some new stuff in. Let's grab that. Let's go to a different pace here, get some new items. Alright, we've got Barbie Dreamtopia in the package, not opened. So that's exciting. And we got Barbie Dreamtopia again, a different one. This looks like a mermaid. I don't know if they have names or anything, but... Also in this bag we have a puzzle set, uh, looks like Disney. This person definitely liked their uh, mini and uh, what's the uh, girl called uh, from Hotel Transylvania, I believe. No, no, actually I'm wrong, that's Vampira. Vampire, Vampirina? Vamp oh man, I'm messing this all up. Apparently that's Disney Junior Show and I had it all wrong. I was thinking it was from... Uh, the uh, Hotel Transylvania, but it's not, so, okay, but anyways, I stand corrected, and these are all princess puzzles on this side, so, six puzzles, brand new, never opened, so I'm thinking we did pretty well on this unit, and we didn't even get to all, even, we're not even halfway through yet, here's another item that looks brand new, auto, safety kit so it has the yeah it has the thing around it so it makes me think it's brand new uh, just in case where's the zipper at right here oh yeah I think this looks new so we'll give you a look at what's in there we got a a uh, triangle, got some batteries, a pump, flashlight, I'm not sure what that is. There's the flashlight, there's the pump, uh, looks like a blanket, a rope. Yeah, so pretty, uh, pretty cool. And then a uh, little help, little um, first aid kit. Yeah, that, that looks, that's a nice score, I think. I'm not sure what that's worth, but I think that's probably... Uh, worth an okay amount. Okay, so I got some tubs and I organized things on the ground so that things are going into a little bit better organization here. All right, now what I did was I pulled up this tub too. Uh, I don't want to call it a tub. I guess it's a laundry pop-up laundry basket or something. And uh, I'm gonna start pulling stuff out of that. This doesn't look too exciting, but we got. Oh, this is Great Wolf Lodge. This is a place where people go and uh, swim indoors. Alright, so we got a, a pill container. So that's not a good sign. Alright, got some more pills here. Alright, we got some Ziploc baggies, which cool we can use that and we got a one gigabyte 
flash drive. So, we can check and see what's on that. We're gonna use the baggies from the shore. And another Great Wolf Lodge Halloween version. Something you find in every storage unit, chargers. I've got a box of these. Also something I find in, very frequently in a lot of storage units is this uh, battery backup charger. So you charge this up and then you can charge your cell phone or something from that. I find those very frequently. All right, here we got something interesting. A, some Legos. I think I've seen these before where you actually go somewhere and you build them and then you put them in this container. So these might be custom built. I'm not sure. Duct tape. We definitely can use this. We can fix everything with duct tape. Okay, we got the charging cord to go along with the charger. This looks like it's just not to an iPhone. It looks like it's probably to... Well, I'm not entirely sure what that's to. I don't think it's an iPhone. No, it's definitely not. Got another charging cable. Never opened. Reinforcement labels. This is getting exciting here, man. Alka Seltzer. More Alka Seltzer. We've got one double A battery. We got some multi use labels. This is a magnet, but it it's got their photo on it, so I can't show that. That is Knobles. All right, we've got several more battery backup chargers. So we got these are these are pretty cool. We can charge those up, and we can use them, or we can sell some because we obviously have plenty of them. All right, this, I like finding, I love finding these. These are earbuds uh, that have not been opened. I love finding earbuds because we always need them. So, um, of course, if they're open, they go in the garbage, but uh, sealed ones, I will use. And speaking of open ones, right here is a set of open ones and they are going in the garbage. All right, here's something interesting. It is a Eclipse. I thought at first it was an, uh, one of the uh, mini iPods or something, but it's an Eclipse. Looks like a portable media player. Eight gigabyte, eight gigabyte Eclipse portable media player. And then another charger, USB charger. Somebody was doing some mining. We got the rocks and the identification for them, gemstone mining. And we got some sweet pea, fragrance mist, and a pen from Great Wolf Lodge. Okay, that is the end of that one box, one bag inside there. Okay, looks like the rest is going to be closed in this bag. So let me go ahead and uh, clear this away, and I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, sort the clothes, let you know what we keep, and donate the rest, and do the same thing as we did last time. So give you guys a break, and we'll be right back. All right, so I actually decided to keep none of that clothes. All that clothes is getting donated. In the next bag, we have motor oil, 5W30, synthetic 
synth synthetic blend. One, two, three, four, five quarts. And just so happens I have a truck that burns oil, so that will probably be going into my truck. Okay, next up. I've got a feeling that this is all crafting supplies. Hand dyed wool from somewhere in, I don't know, wherever. Wow, this is just filled with Henry the Hedgehog kit. Ten ninety nine. This is just filled with. Material and wool, all kinds of stuff. All right, guys. So today was very, very hectic. Like I said earlier, with all the stuff going on with this storage unit, everything else going on, I did not get to film everything that I shipped out or met on Facebook Marketplace. So I did thirty-six dollars and eighty-one cents today in profit. Uh, that's going to be $5 for kids' train seats that we trash picked. Those were, uh, those went out of Marketplace this morning. $10 for the welcome plant holder that was trash, trash picked, so that's a total of 15 And then we had two Macari sales. The one was $16.61 profit. It was a super wobble bubble ball uh, that was new, sealed in the package. It was actually um, ours. We had it laying around. We never used it. So it might have been a gift or something. I don't remember. Uh, and then uh, a t-shirt, which I still have here. Everything else has either been shipped or already met and delivered. But the t-shirt, uh, we got $5.20 uh, profit after the dollar we paid for it at a yard sale. Uh, that's thirty-six dollars eighty-one cents total today in profit. And if you want to take a look at the shirt. It is this one right here. One bad mother runner. So yeah, so kind of a cool shirt. So that's gonna go in a poly bag. I have the four by the four by six or whatever size label that is there. Uh, label's already printed, gonna go in the poly bag, gonna go in the mail tomorrow morning. So alright, so that's everything. That's the recap. Uh, that's our recap. Uh, sorry, that's our recap for sales for today. And we did not do trash picking, but you obviously will see everything we got in the storage unit auction. So, thanks.